All right. Well, so thank you, Shara, for being here and being willing to do this work. Very powerful. Yeah, I appreciate so, it. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, and so let me just say a little bit about what's happening for you and yeah, what your thoughts are that you're wanting to take to inquiry today. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, struggling mightily with uh, depression and anxiety um, and um, Parkinson's and it's all kind of interconnected. And I, um, uh, I've been trying to get help from different doctors and practitioners and it's really, it's really hard, it's really a struggle. And, and this, so I thought I could work today on one of the doctors that I'm struggling with and see if I can make some headway on that one. Okay, okay. So um, did you write a thought down about the doctor? I did. I did. Okay. I, I'm disappointed with my doctor because he's not responding to some of my questions and not helping me recover from my depression. Okay. Okay. We'll start right there. Let's just, let's just go with that. <clears throat> okay. You picture yourself and the visits you've had. Okay. He's not responding to your questions. Okay. Yeah, he's, he does, I've only had one face to face with him and then we exchange emails. And so there've been okay. and he's pretty prompt about responding to them, but he doesn't answer them fully. He answers one part of it and not the other part of it. And I keep asking him about the other part of it and he keeps not answering it. So I'm like, what do I do now? Yeah, okay. So he's not, so that's the specific kind of, it's like, well, I, I want this question answered. And then he's not helping you with your depression. Right, right. Yeah, the two things. He's not answering my specific questions and he's not helping me with my depression. Okay. I don't know. My thought is to like, let's look at, he's not helping me with my depression. And one way that he's not helping is not answering your question. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So... He's not helping you with your depression. Okay. See if that's true. He's not helping you with your depression. Yes, it's true. Well, I, I okay. I, I, I don't, <laughs> I can't absolutely know that it's true. Mm -hmm. Where'd you find that? No, that you can't absolutely know it. Well, yeah. Well, as soon as I said, it, I said, how can I really know? Cause maybe, he is helping me, but it hasn't shown up yet. Maybe it'll show up tomorrow or the next day. So, okay. but as of now, he hasn't. Okay, okay. What happens when you think it? He's not helping me with my depression. There's this thing, this depression. Um, yeah, and he's yeah. not helping. Yeah, I get like, you know, out of breath and um, kind of tingles on my arms and just feeling like I want to run somewhere and not knowing where to run. Uh, I, um, uh, I feel, um, I don't know, I, like I, I, I don't know, I want to be polite and I don't want to be bothering him a lot. So I get really tied up and what can I write to him that would be short and and succinct and that he would respond to. So I'm like, you know, agonizing over writing to him. And I'm very, I'm, I'm scared. I'm just really scared about the whole situation. And so when he doesn't respond to me as fully as I would like, it just increases the, the scared part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just seeing that absence of response, not helping. Tr depression seems to be here. It's not helping me with it. Right. Okay. See what else? I mean, see, you know, you can see how far back the thought goes, even maybe before the doctor. Well, right. <laughs> um, I mean, I have that thought about 
all the doctors, but nobody's helping me. Nobody's succeeding in helping me. They might try, but it's not working. Okay. So that's powerful to see. There's no help for this or whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, it also ties in with my mistrust of doctors and I don't, you know, some people I know have a lot of faith in their doctor and they, they do what the doctor tells them to do and they, they feel that it's going to work out. And I'm very suspicious and not able to really focus and follow all the instructions. I'm always like second guessing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good for noticing that for how you treat the doctor even if it's just in your mind you know mm -hmm. reading the emails or whatever you've had this face-to-face -face, or all of them all right. of them not sure that if they did respond if i like what they're saying or i'm guessing if it, i'm wondering about it or yes yeah, yeah. okay so he's not helping all right Anything else with how you treat the doctors and this doctor when they're not helping? Um, I don't think so. Okay. And yourself, how do you see yourself in this? I see myself really badly. I see myself as, mm -hmm. um, you know, not being able to get help, not knowing really what the help is that I need. Um, and uh, not trusting, not trusting myself that I'm going to follow what the doctor does. And so I'm like, you know, a little torn up in, in, inside about, about this and, you know, dearly wanting to, to trust him uh, and not feeling like I could. Although, as I just say it now, maybe there's a little, a little inkling of maybe I could trust him. Okay. Okay, so me, the one who needs help, him not helping, them not really helping or not responding, maybe a little glimmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, just noticing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one more, just wondering, you know, this is interesting how you treat this thing called depression or what you're there to get help with. He's not helping me with this depression and how you see that. Thing called depression when you're believing he's not helping me with it i see it as a monster mm. like black cloud monster just like consuming me and um i don't have any control over it it just takes over me oh. yeah this is not the first time that this has happened uh okay you feel it physically in your body I, yeah, I feel it physically in my shoulders and my arms. I can't sleep at night. Um, I mean, there's a heavy dose of anxiety in there. I'm not sure which is worse, the anxiety or the depression, but mm. they, they kind of go together. So yeah, so like I'm hoarse um, and I have Parkinson's. So that kicks up the Parkinson's. And so I'm uh, tremors in my hands and in my neck. And it's a lot of stuff going on. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So just holding that a moment, just being with it. There's this thing called depression and anxiety. Noticing how terrible it seems, very against it. Want it to leave. Seeking all the help to get rid of it. Get some help with it. Okay. not knowing what to do. So just for this moment, you can just do it from right now. Who would you be without the thought? He's not helping me with my depression. There's no help for my depression. Uh well, without that thought, I'd be, um, I guess I'd be open to, to possibilities that 
it would change, it would improve. Uh, I'd be, um, I mean, so without the thought doesn't necessarily mean that I have the thought that he will help me, I guess, <laughs> just that I don't, I don't have the thought that he won't help me. Um, uh, I mean, it would be great if I had the thought that he will help me because I could relax a little. Um, well, it's interesting. It is. I like where you're going. It's like sort of looking at this absence of help. So I'm imagining this help and the help equals doing something about the depression. Like depression has to leave. Then I know I'm getting help. So I'm definitely against this thing, this depression thing and anxiety. And I'm just, I don't, it's the absence of this help that I really don't like. So if you, if you could relax a moment and see there's an absence of help here, what if that wasn't true? What if you couldn't believe that thought? I would feel, I would feel so grateful. I'd feel um, trusting and, um, you know, able to put up with some of the negative uh, symptoms I have because I would know that he was helping me. Mm. It'd be nice, it'd be nice to just sort of relax and do what he says and, with a, with a you know confidence that it's working out, it's doing what it needs to be doing. Okay. And let's say so. Even if you don't had any communication from him, like uh, I mean, I know you've gotten some, but yeah. I'm just in the moment, still noticing, like, so the presence of something called depression and the presence of anxiety, but without the thought, help is missing. Help is missing from the doctors. Without that thought, um, I would, I would be... I could relax. I mean, I guess I could, if I didn't have that thought, uh, then I could have the opposite thought. <laughs> uh. that they're, that they're, they are helping me. Um, hmm. Yeah, I be, wouldn't be so scared and afraid of what's gonna happen. Uh, I, you know, I feel, I feel some confidence that I could rely on him which would be really nice because I feel very alone. Sure, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. It's like uh, without, I'm not receiving any help. Um, it fit in there with believing the thought, you know, like I'm all by myself, I'm all alone. Okay. Okay, so without the thought, more relaxed. Nice to just feel it. Mm, yeah. You know, we might, don't even have to know. You've all heard that, like, don't know mind. Mm. Don't know where it's going. Don't know. And it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Yeah. No, and it's okay. Yeah. Okay. And even just see there, if you don't know that you're not getting any help, you know, there's absence of help and that's all there is, just absence of it. If you don't know that and you're with the depression, just see if anything shifts or anything changes, what it's like without knowing that. No help is here. And even how you might treat yourself without the thought. I'm not getting help. Um, I think I would feel more relaxed and able to sleep. I'd be um, 
more confident, uh, maybe, maybe smile a little bit sometimes. Uh, and um, we feel grateful, we feel grateful to him, which would be really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I can't I can't cut that off. That's yeah. That's okay. Totally fine. Okay. Well, let's see what happens if we turn it around. Okay. It's not helping me with this depression that I don't like. <clears throat> okay. Yes. He is. Yeah. yeah, he is. I mean, and it has to find like, we're not necessarily guessing, like maybe he's helping here, maybe he's helping there. It's like actually what feels like it could be really true. He is helping me, even if it's just a tiny bit. He's helping me with my depression. What's an example? Well, he's uh, experimenting with uh, different uh, different medications for me and um, yeah I mean so far nothing's working but he's experimenting and um, so that's an example uh, he the first time I went to him he helped me and that he had an appointment with me and he sat and listened to my story and and came up with some thoughts about it. Uh, and uh, what else? Um, I guess that's it. Okay. So he is helping me. Sounds like I'm um, yeah, something's giving uh, he's paying attention or you know, attending to it, listening. Yes. Trying an experiment. You get that that um, fits in the category of helping. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting, even if the thing doesn't go away. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Although <laughs> my criteria for helping. Yes. I, I mean, which is, which is, I mean, it's, that's in alone good to see helping for me equals it mm -hmm. goes away mm -hmm. yeah i guess that's right yeah. yeah yeah he so in a way you could kind of see like original thought he's not helping my depression he's not making it go away he's not taking it away mm -hmm. so i mean in a way it kind of um makes it a little more like put some clarity around like I'm I'm wishing somebody would you know take it away or they might know or I got the right person or um right well, that, maybe, yeah. yeah 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 okay and that you know I love noticing you know how much against the depression we are and we're not saying I don't know we'll, we'll look at that in a second maybe so so he is helping, he's doing the best he can. He's giving some advice, he's experimenting. He responds on email, whatever, okay. So I'm not helping or my thinking isn't helping. I like yeah, that. well, that's for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been helping because I, you know, I'm just like second guessing him and anxious all the time and that in itself, I mean, well, anxiety is, a big part of my problem but then I make myself more anxious by thinking that he's not helping me yeah so, yeah there would be a uh somewhat of a calming down if I didn't have that thought that he's not helping me yeah 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 I'm also impatient there you know like I know what it would be done now yeah, I mean, it's already been, I think, a month or more than a month wow. that I've been ha you know, going through this. So it's like, oh, my God, maybe it's never going to end. Oh, yeah. 
I love noticing those thoughts about the, the future. This is never going to be over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big, 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 big one for me. Yeah. 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 So my thinking isn't helping. And, and that's an interesting one to hold. Um, and I also can't, I'm innocently thinking. So there's not something wrong with me for having thoughts about mm -hmm. depression and getting help and all of it. That would be sort of normal. It's like what human beings do, we think, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'm like, what if it's okay that my thoughts cannot help this or, uh -huh. they, you know, the ones that I'm having? Mm -hmm. It would be like, wow, if I could, I mean, I keep thinking if I could get rid of, rid of my thoughts, yeah, you know, and yeah. I explain myself, you know, accept what is, accept what is, accept what is, but yeah, and I'm like, boom, you know, as soon as I say yeah. that, I'm like, ah, eh. so. yeah, yeah. Well, it's strange. It's like, what if it is okay to be thinking anxious thoughts or depressive thoughts? What if it was okay to think? think them like it's what a mind does it's kind mm -hmm. of there it is thinking yeah it would be it would be great if, if i could accept that that it's just thinking it's not real <laughs> yeah yeah well it's myself maybe this is not real this is not real this is not real <laughs> Well, I love, that's one of the reasons I love the work is sort of saying you get to ask, is it true? It might not even need to sort of, oh my gosh, you know, it's sort of seeing like the way we scare ourselves with our own thinking, you know, <laughs> and it, um, but to ask, is it true? Is it, is, can I know this, that this is the, the truth? What I'm thinking is the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm most of us, once we kind of settle down or kind of consider or mm -hmm. wonder about that, we're like, yeah, right. I know that I know that I, I have no idea what's going, like, I really don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And when I can really get into that thought like that, I do feel somewhat calm, like, I don't know, this could all be cured tomorrow. But then the voice comes in immediately. Well, not really, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, to take that position of like, I don't know, it's all possible. That's really good when I can think that yeah. way. Yeah, it's nice, which is just nice to notice, you know, if emergencies aren't, you know, get very impatient, that speediness of anxiety and lots of thought, 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 you know, coming at you like, um, think of those like baseball machines that right. hitters are practicing, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about the depression itself, about who I am, about the doctor, about tomorrow. Yes, right. Yeah. Well, tonight when I go to bed, yeah, yeah. Be able to sleep. But since I haven't yes. been able to anymore. Yes, yes. So you know, you need to sleep. Like that's a good one because we're gonna you're gonna get to have that later on. You know, you need to sleep. You need to go to sleep. Is it true? Uh, yes, it's true. Yeah. So who would you be without that thought? I need to sleep when you're laying in bed going like it's bedtime, come on. <laughs> <laughs> to your mind you know and your mind is kind of busy and racing and I mean just getting that little drop of something who would you be without the story I absolutely critically have to go to sleep right now who would you be without that thought um without that thought I can't imagine <laughs> not having that thought but if I can really yeah I do imagine that. Um, yes, I'd be okay just laying there, uh, trying to fall asleep. I mean, that's one of the problems I have is that I, I keep I stay in bed and I just like from two thirty in the morning until whatever time I get up, I'm laying there obsessing, 
And I can't even get up. You know, people say, oh, get up and read, but I can't even get myself to do that because I'm too tired and whatever. And I keep hoping that I'll fall back to sleep. So, yes, yes, yeah. Your mind is running. I think you're not alone in, in what people experience that when they have that running, you know, I should go to sleep now. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm really, I'm exhausted because I haven't gotten a decent night's sleep in over a week now. I had one night. It was amazing. I slept from from nine o'clock to seven to nine fifteen the next morning. Wow, and it, yeah, it was amazing. And I had my, I was in a, I think I was in a pretty good space mood when I went to sleep, and I also had some exercise that I think those two helped and. So that was great, but that was only that one time. And then I was back to my three hour routine. Well, so over the turnaround, I actually don't need to sleep until I do. Like noticing, boom, something dropped in and gave you a 12 and a half hour night of sleeping. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if you know, the way the mind sees it, just like you were saying, the way the mind sees the depression is lasting for forever, you know, like just it's going to go on and on and on. Mm-hmm. And this, uh, the sleeping thing that's required. So help is required from the doctors. Sleeping is required. Very interesting to hold if I didn't believe it to be the absolute truth that I need to sleep. Yeah. Noticing just that you do, you slept for 12 and a half hours. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it happens. It happened. Mm -hmm. It happened. That was such a wonderful day. Yeah. 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 So I don't need to sleep, not in the way my mind is saying I need to. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't need to. Well, the reality is I'm not. So then that's a good example sometimes. Just what's the reality? I'm not. Yeah. But just imagine, you know, lying there, resting in bed flat. You know, we go horizontal. Mm -hmm. And um, even if the mind is chattering and talking and saying everything it has to say about sleeping and a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, the way it does, noisy. And you just also could touch the the answer to the question, who would I be without needing to sleep right now since I'm not? (laughs) You know, like kind of, apparently I don't, like you just said, apparently I don't need to be sleeping right now because I'm not sleeping. Right. It's amazing how people can move about the world without sleep. Yeah, I mean, right, there's a friend of mine who's that she hasn't been able to sleep for like 30 years. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I I just can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. There's some people who are trying to see if they can live, They're, they're doing everything they can to only sleep three or four hours a night because they want to do all, but do stuff, you know, all the time. If that was the case, that'd be great, but that's not why, (laughs) that's not me. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes it helps to think about that absurd opposite. You know, it's kind of like, what if the project here on planet earth was to sleep as little as possible? Mm. (laughs) You'd be succeeding without knowing it. (laughs) Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, just noticing the simple examples of I'm still here. I'm breathing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this work here. I did the work last week. Mm -hmm. My mind is thinking. um, Then I do sleep, even if it's three hours. And my mind is saying that's too little. Right. You know. Even if it does, it does actually go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then there's a big, like longer time of sleep. So that happens too, but I don't need to sleep. Um, I don't need to. Um, Here's a funny turnaround. Sleeping 
needs to do me like sleeping needs to just be whatever it is mm. for this one it's it's okay that it's the way it is it just sleeping needs to do me mm. that's interesting wow. Wow. well uh sleeping needs to do me so i guess that's the time that i sleep sleeping is doing me and times that i don't it's not doing me yes yeah is that funny, that whole thing we've heard from Byron Katie, like I'm being done, I'm being lived, like you didn't invent yourself, you know, and decide when, when you were going to be born and mm -hmm. what, you know, but I mean, we're just here. This is a great, bizarre, unknown. Here we are. <laughs> no idea. What's going on? You know, no idea about it. But it's like, I might be in far less in charge of some of these things than I think, than the mind would like to. Yes, right. Think. Yeah, well, that's right. That's just, you know, I'm not in charge of any of it. From a yeah. practical standpoint, I say, that's right. I'm not in charge of anything. Um, you know, I can't make anything happen. I can't control things. I say all that, but, you know. Right, and what if it's okay? What if it just just a little just uh, noticing? It's great to notice. Oh, I say all that, and I don't, but I don't like it. You know, I don't. I would. It's hard to let go, or so I'm supposed to. You know, just just see, so relax just a little bit with not being in charge and not knowing what's going on and having no idea, and even that you suffer, that you've suffered. Mm -hmm. um, and what if, what if it's okay that I don't know? Mm, yeah, what if it's okay that I don't know? Because the mind has a lot of proof and ideas, at least if your mind is like mine, that of why, how it's not okay. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so what if I might as well try on the turnaround? What if it's okay that I don't know? Mm -hmm. what if it's just okay. I don't know. I don't even know about this depression thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And I guess if if I didn't think I needed to know, then I don't know would be okay. <laughs> Isn't that that's amazing? I mean, you don't even have to be all the way there. It's just wow, since I don't know. And if I didn't start to think I should know. like a big yeah. yeah yeah so he's not helping me i'm not helping him um <clears throat> with with my depression right i'm not helping him uh well, uh, I think an example of that is that I'm not, well, not, first of all, I'm not getting better. So that's not helping him. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not telling him enough information on what's happening with me. I don't know. Um, he doesn't ask me for more information. So uh, but that could be. Uh, and of course, I'm not helping him in the sense that I'm not confident about him. So then I'm anxious about things more so than if I did uh, if I did trust him, and that would be a way of helping him. Oh. Yeah, that would be really good if I could do that. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes a little, a little space in there. If I could trust him, I could help him. Mm. Yeah, willing. You know, mm. I like the <clears throat> just noticing. I love the quality of trust. You know, if I could just trust a little, and I'm interested in trust. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about it. I don't have to be all the way there. I don't have to suddenly be this. I'll trust everything. Mm -hmm. You know, that's maybe not just not the way it goes but it's like oh i really like 
that quality of trust. Yeah, yeah. Supporting me, supporting me. Yeah. Mm, God, yeah. <laughs> it's very I mean, Go ahead. Yeah. Well, you know, I was thinking about like the mind getting a very, lots of thought being focused on lack of support. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not being supported in this. I'm not being supported with sleeping. I'm not like something's going wrong, you know? Yeah. Something's going wrong. This thing called depression should be gone ASAP mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and anxiety and all of it. And it's very strange to have like a, the thought that's kind of innocently thinking all that. And it's strange to question, you know, difficulties like depression, anxiety, lack of sleep. They shouldn't be here. They should be different than they are. Yes, for sure. Yes. So just check to see. I know it's a big question, but just to see, is it absolutely true? Those all shouldn't be the way they are. These things I contend with. Well, I mean, they are that way, but um, maybe they even aren't that way. <laughs> maybe I don't know how they really are. Maybe they well, are anyway. Maybe it's how I say they are. I mean, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, wow, is what my mind talks about, is it the truth? Is it the absolute truth? When it's saying I'm against lack, lack of sleep, I'm against this thing called depression. I'm against the doctor. I'm mm -hmm. against my condition. I'm, yeah, I'm against myself, my body, yeah. my mind. Yeah. Yes. Like I know how to fight. I, I'm, I'm, which is okay. It's like I'm, at, I'm at war with it. I'm against it. I don't like it. All the ways that it says it. Yes. And this is odd. It's like. Okay, and I'm even against, yeah, I'm against my thought itself. That's right. <laughs> I'm against that too. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I'm against it. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But how strange to, to, to just imagine, we know what it feels like when you're against it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Right. I don't like it. <laughs> you know? It's mm -hmm. saying all these things it doesn't like. You know, I don't like not going to sleep when I wanted to go to sleep. And I, I don't like depression. I don't like consulting all the doctors and I don't like having par Parkinson's and don't like being in a body. And I don't like who I am. And just <laughs> see, it's kind of like, I don't like it gets to that feel, you know? So really amazing to wonder like, what if, what if everything that it's talking about wasn't true? What if I wasn't against all of it? And I might not even know what it would be like. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. I don't even get it, you know, because the mind is, you know, just like sort of in that argument. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I have no idea what it would be like. Yeah. Yeah. And what if something's here, even if your mind is not is talking is saying all that what if what if there's something here besides just the mind talking about how much it doesn't like everything that's underway like who would i be without my story of i don't like it who would i be um... I guess if I didn't have the story that I don't like it, I'd be neutral about it or maybe even positive about it. Wow, pretty huge. Well, it is huge, yeah, yeah. I could even get to a place of neutral, like just being an observer. Oh, look at that. 
depression is showing up here or anxiety is showing up here. Even I think not saying my, you know, depression or my anxiety, just like depression, like, like how do you do depression? <laughs> how do you do anxiety? What's kind of fun about that is noticing it is a visitor. Like it doesn't it seem like it comes in and then it fades out and then every so often you're completely or even you're asleep for those three hours mm -hmm. and you're not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But you're still here and you're still alive and you're still a life force and something's still present and even with all the stuff that seems so hard to to deal with you know in the world but i don't know i don't know it's really weird how much we don't know it's so weird it's so weird for mind it's like but i want to know that's right yeah i want to know and i think i know too i think that this is bad you know I yes yes so i mean just recognizing it it's like wondering what if it isn't all bad mm-hmm what if it even, even is good, the stuff that I'm against? Or even if I can just find, am I okay anyway? Mm -hmm. Something's okay. Yeah, something's okay. I'm alive and I'm uh, able to talk and I'm able to eat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm able to sit in a chair and have mm -hmm. this session. Right. And like something something gets me to the session and something mm -hmm. is curious about this over here and willing you know that's pretty big yeah yeah something's just being being, being. yeah just being that would be nice just being yeah well without all the without thought of be, being against it you know, just noticing, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It just, it's okay. Let's, let's say you have a, like a big committee that really is, doesn't mm -hmm. like it. You know? Yeah. Um, and without believing the thoughts, let's put it that way. It's okay that they're even there making a bunch of sound, like talking and, oh, I'm not saying it's easy. If you have a jackhammer you know, <laughs> That's right. in your mind, <laughs> like, ah, but you know that if you were in, like if you were on the curb, you know, and you happen to be in a cafe uh, before the pandemic, <laughs> but you're somewhere and a jackhammer started going like right across the street, you know, you can feel, wow, incoming noise, not necessarily pleasant, but I'm still breathing. I'm safe. Um, maybe it comes to me to ask the, the waiter for the bill and leave, which is okay. It's all, no, nothing's an emergency. Noticing how it's not an emergency, mm -hmm. even if it's very loud. You know, you just see they're just working on the street over there. And how interesting just to hold that neutrality, like you said, just getting to neutral, just open, just, I like to think of it like this. Mm -hmm. I opened my fists. Mm, that's my yes. yeah. I don't even have to start loving it. <laughs> you know, I don't have to say I like it. But that is an interesting thing to try on if I'm willing, you know. Mm wow, this stuff that I'm saying, I don't like it, I don't like it. And that's the soundtrack, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. What if what if it's okay that it's there? Just do that first. And what if it's like even interesting that I'm not sleeping or what if that depression has a message? I don't know. Yeah, well, that was <clears throat> one of the thoughts I was having. I mean, maybe, you know, God is giving me this for growth for some way that he wants me to grow. And, uh, and if it, you know, maybe makes sense in that way. I said, Thank you very much. I don't want to grow that way, but. <laughs> 
yeah. I mean, it would be good if I could learn how to handle this now because the probability is that it's going to happen again. And um, well, even that trust that you were talking about, that kernel of trust that you get interested in this quality of trust and, and just um, holding like, what if I could trust what is, and I don't even have to know what the special lesson is or even go that far with it, just um, letting it be there, letting it be there, noticing that it's more relaxing to not argue or talk about all the things that I don't like, mm -hmm. but only if I really can find it. Like, um, not a should, you know, I should start liking things. Mm -hmm. I should be neutral. I should, but just seeing, wow, it's really, um, it gets, it's hard to, it's, it's, it's very tight and hard gripping. I might as well, I'm willing to turn just a little bit this way and see what if I just let it be here? My mind talking and depression lack of sleep, even anxiety. What if I let it be here? What if it wasn't so dangerous to let it be here the way it is? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, what if I could let it be here? Oh, how I would love to do that. Which isn't that sweet? It's just noticing something in me goes, oh, I'd love to do that. Mm -hmm. Which oh, I'm curious about that. So I just, uh, huh. So maybe something in you, you didn't even have to make yourself think I'd love to do that. You just did. You're like, <laughs> huh, that sounds like an interesting way to go. So, I mean, just see. It's just kind of playing with it. You know, it's okay. The absence of help, absence of sleep, the thing called depression. It's like the great Rumi poem, you know, the great Rumi poem. Like, yeah, the guest house. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Letting it be here. And um, no special difficult, you know, mean lesson that I'm supposed to be learning. It's just um, letting it be there since it's there. Right, so, since it's there. What's the reality? Here it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the reality of it, yeah. 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 Yeah, if I could be curious about it, it's kind of getting, wanting to sort of get to know it, that would be a good place to be. Yeah. We'll play with it and see see what it's like. Um, you know, see what it's like. Wow, here I am not sleeping. Here I am not receiving a response from the doctor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like here I am not getting it, not getting something that I think is required. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, so maybe it's not required like I thought it was. Just maybe. Uh -huh. Just the thought and saying it's required and it's not here. So this maybe it isn't required. Just maybe it isn't. What if it wasn't since oh. it's not here? Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe it wasn't required. Yeah. I really like um, how Byron Katie says, you know, um, reality seems to rule. Like when I argue with reality, I lose. Yes, 100% of the time, she says. 100% of the time. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> But it's a, it is seen, and I'm not wrong to be arguing because that's what minds tend to do. You know, they kind of like, wait, let's debate it. And let's, and that's the nature of a mind. And you didn't even vent your mind. You're innocently having a mind. It's yeah. not your, you didn't, it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. So there's a mind busy. Um, and what if it's okay that it doesn't know? It mm -hmm. doesn't, doesn't have answers. Yes. Something in us, I think, I, I've found it. I'm just wondering about it. It's just so fun just to even wonder about it, even if we don't know for sure, that doesn't believe everything we're thinking. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> like, I already kind of knows, like, and what if I don't need to have the answers? 
What if I don't like this arguing thing that I'm doing in my head? What if I'm already also not arguing? Not arguing. Yeah. Yeah. But there's something about me that is actually not arguing. Mm. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can tell that must be true with the willingness to even look, you know, mm -hmm. and do the work. So, yeah, really appreciate uh, your work, Shara. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. So welcome.